Today I'm inviting you into my art journal and the theme is mountains. We'll start with some simple doodles and we'll end with some more detailed illustrations. So let's get started. So Chris and I just got back from this amazing three week Canadian holiday. We were in Alberta, Ontario and Quebec and we got to camp and hike in the mountains of Banff and Lake Louise and it was just incredible. Um, we had so much fun and we can't wait to go back and today I want to invite you into my new art journal. I just got this journal from Hadron Epoch and so I decided I would do some artsy stuff, you know, just to get away from bullet journaling and do something a little more creative and colorful. Um, so I did this summer cover page and then I made this little mountain Alberta themed page to, you know, just to commemorate our trip because we did have such a nice time. And um, I thought it would be fun today if we worked through some mountain doodles and illustrations together. So I am starting a fresh page here and you can see I've got a few little mountain doodles already sketched out in pencil. So they start like this. We're going to do a straight line uh, for the bottom and then you can add for a simple mountain doodle as many peaks as you like. Try to make them a little bit wonky, not too symmetrical and then of course we can give a few of them that little snow cap. So that is a very simple mountain doodle. Now this one we're going to take it to the next level. We'll start with our line across the bottom, do a one or two peaks, um, but this one we're going to divide the mountain by drawing a line vertically down it. And you'll see how that comes in as we make more complex illustrations. Uh, I'll add a sun and maybe some silhouettes of a few pine trees. So this is still a doodle, but we've you know taken it up a notch. And now we're going to go even further. So we'll start with that line across the bottom, couple peaks, then we divide each peak with a line or two. So we're just dividing up these mountains. And what we'll do is eventually one side will be in shadow and one side will be in light. So that's how we're moving from these really simple doodles to maybe something a little more complicated, a little more illustrative. So we're gonna work through all of it today. So if you're just getting started with drawing or you've never drawn a mountain, don't worry. Now you can see how I'm shading one side of the mountains and that just makes it look like one side the sun is hitting it and one side not so much. We can add some texture lines to the lighter side and that is how our little mountain doodle goes from really simple to a little more interesting. I'm going to draw one more starting in pencil. You can follow along with me. You can make these mountain illustrations and doodles as big as you like. Um, so this one's gonna be like a whole range. And you can see how I sort of work it out in pencil first, changing the shape if I need to. Then I start dividing up these mountains by drawing those vertical lines. Once I'm happy with my pencil doodle, I'll go over it in pen and uh, the I must admit, dividing up the space can be a little tricky, especially knowing that one side needs to be light and one side needs to be dark because you don't want two dark areas touching um, just because it's you're not going to have as much contrast within the piece and it's not going to look as cool and it's not going to look as natural, I guess. Um, but eventually you work through it in pencil, you'll get it. You shade in the one side, put a few texture lines on the other side and you can see as we're really close here that my line shading is not perfect. It doesn't need to be. It can be if that's important to you, but it doesn't need to be. And then of course we can put a little sun um, and it could just be a circle or you could do some little rays. And then I will add the silhouettes of trees, just a vertical line with those tiny little um, uh, arrowheads, I guess you could call them, to make the pine tree. Okay, let's move on. I've traced a circle here in a marker and you could use any color marker. I was thinking of doing pink, but I settled on gray. <laughs> Surprise. And um, I am starting with my mountain sketch. I did three peaks across the top, but then for this one, I'm also putting some peaks in the front. So I'll do two peaks in the foreground. 
And then of course, I start dividing up my mountains. This one, I kind of had to think about it. How do I want it to look when it's finished? What side is going to be in shadow? What side is going to be in light? I tend to do the shading on the right side. Um, once I was happy with my pencil sketch, I started uh, filling in the sky with my gray marker. I also thought this would look cute in pink. Did I already say that? Anyways, you could do it in black. I did a similar illustration for my July um, bullet journal, my July plan with me. So I'll link that in the description as well if you missed that. Going over this in pen carefully along the bottom. If you mess up, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> There's always a way to fix it. And of course, here I am doing some more line shading. Now, at a certain point, you might be like, I did not divide up my mountains enough. And that's what happened here. I don't want all of this to be in shadow. It will just be too heavy. So I'll just simply add another peak, divide it, and we are good to go. <laughs> um, and you can see me going over that in pen. And now I've got more division. So I'm able to create a piece that's just um, a little more interesting and I think is gonna have more balance. Now I start with those textured lines. I like to do lines coming off right off the uh, vertical dividing line, just has a nice look. And then I'll also put some loose ones um, in the middle of the mountain. And I think that looks really nice. I added a sun and I'm using my white gel pen to add a few stars. And this is a good gel pen. It is from Jet Pens um, and I will link that in the description below. As you can see, my drawings on this page have gone from doodles, very simple and cute, to a more illustrative uh, style. And now we are going to uh, do one that is really fun. It's a little more detailed, and adding that detail is all about just you know taking the time to do it. But it's a diamond shape. Of course, the upper part of the diamond is the mountain, so you can do one or two or even three peaks. And then we just bring it to a point at the bottom. I'm doing some trees, a little tent, and then we'll do horizontal lines to represent water. So I'll go over it in pen so you can see. On this mountain, I've decided to do the snow-capped peaks, but also to add those dividing lines. So I just start the dividing line um, at the bottom of the snow, and I am going to shade one side and do the texture lines on another side. And I'm not shading this one in really dark, uh, so that's just a design choice. And then these trees are made up of vertical lines with a bunch of horizontal lines across them. So I've changed the silhouette of the tree slightly and I think it looks nice. And of course I've drawn in my little triangle tent. I'll do a bit of almost stippling for grass there because it's so tiny. I'm going to draw some rocks um, in the foreground here in the water. And then I am going to simply do horizontal lines. So I'm moving the pen towards my body to do this, but I'm going to leave a highlight down the center of this triangle. And that just sort of represents where the moonlight would hit the water. Now, as I always say, I'm a bit of a lazy artist, so I'm not taking a ton of time. I didn't even take the time to draw that triangle with a ruler. That might have looked nice. It just depends what level of precision you desire. So totally up to you. I'm going to add a little more shading, some wavy lines, give the look of water. We've got that highlight in the middle to represent the, uh, the moon reflection and then a few stars. And this illustration is all done. One thing that I really loved about the trip we just took was seeing the variety of mountains. In Quebec, they were green and old and rocky. And in, of course, in Banff, in the Rocky Mountains, they were jagged and enormous and snow-capped. And it was just so much fun. Canada is such a beautiful country. And I'm someone who's always traveled overseas. And when I met Chris, he loves to travel with our, in our own country. And so I'm really starting to enjoy that because Canada is huge and you can live in one area and um, almost feel like you're visiting somewhere very foreign uh, when you travel through it so I can't recommend uh, Quebec and Northern Ontario and Alberta enough 
And when you're out hiking and camping and getting dirty and sweaty, it's um, so much fun to bring a little bit of that home as an artist. And these doodles for me are just that, just a little reminder of the fun we had. And now we're like totally sold. We just want to be out hiking and camping. We're basically um, ready to go buy a magic bus and be homeless. So <laughs> um, we probably won't do that, but we, we feel ready to. So anyways, thank you for letting me share a little piece of my holiday with you. And I hope that you'll enjoy doodling mountains as much as I have. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want more creative content like this, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you soon with a new tutorial.